philosophy of philanthropy and helping others. Um, as an orphan, uh, I understand the need uh, that other people in my life, in my young adulthood and my childhood have helped me. That factor alone has created a situation in my heart and in my mind that I need to help others throughout my life. And I've been fortunate to become a dentist. Um, and. Becoming a dentist has allowed me to generate enough money to have a reasonably good life in the United States, but I also realized that was not enough. And in that, I understood I needed to give back to the people of the world who didn't have as much as I did and who indeed had nothing. And so my focus throughout my life has been to go to places in the United States and now in the developing world in Central America and Southeast Asia to help children, orphans, and other victims of what I consider a, uh, a, a passive genocide. That is, the governments of the countries don't care about the poor people, and they don't give them much education and, and much things. And they don't get medical care, and they don't get, they get dental care. So as a dentist, <coughs> I feel it's necessary for me to come for several weeks at least in any given year and bring down other dentists and dental students with me to show them how one can help these people using minimal equipment but having a great heart. Me llamo Clemente Cáñez. ¿Tú? Bueno, señor Clemente, ¿qué edad tiene usted? ¿Cuántos años tiene? 36. ¿Y Adolfo? 10. ¿Y a qué se dedica Clemente? Agricultor. ¿En dónde vive? En En Guatemala, ¿no es cierto? Sí. Bueno, cuéntenos la historia de Adolfo, por favor. Mm, él cuando lo, lo ayudó bastante, el año que pasó, lo, cómo duele su diente y ahora, ahora cuando, ahora cuando lo, lo rellenaron, ahora está tranquilo y come bien y, 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 y eso también es bueno tiene algo para decirle a los doctores de la misión dental um, gracias a los doctores que nos visitaron y porque un, un ayuda a nosotros porque los acá así allí en otro lado uh, I just googled for dental missions and a whole list of different organizations popped up um, and then I just kind of went through each website um, but when I saw kids website it it was actually very uh, yes very very uh, touching for me I, I liked what I read about 
the work they do in yeah, absolutely. Cambodia, Philippines, yeah. and Guatemala. Yeah, exactly. Um, read a little bit about um, Dr. Renner and then um, about Proby and their involvement. And so I just emailed. I emailed Dr. Proby, and basically she emailed me back, um, wanted some more information, and then from there she had asked that I be interviewed. Um, by two members, I guess, who've been actively involved with this organization for years before. So I met with um, Dr. Luz, as well as um, Dr. Jamie Golub, and our meeting, it was fantastic. In terms of like, it's, um, that like all the people come together and work as a team and like everybody, I made already a lot of friends. I think this is the best part that you meet people and you make, you know, like have a good time helping people and children very important and I came from Russia so I know I kind of know what it is not to have like a lot of money when I grow up so it makes me even more being appreciative to things which I have. Um, prior to coming on this trip I had my own idea of what would be involved and you know I knew what I was getting into I knew that I was coming here to help kids who hadn't seen dentists um, maybe in their entire life but actually being here was something totally you know mind-blowing I you know, it's not only the challenge of treating the kid, there's also the, the challenges involved with setting up, the amount of teamwork required that I was amazed by. Um, everybody really works together really well, and when you get there, you don't know what you're going to expect. You have to figure out how to set up the room, and the way we all work together, and the way Perobi and Bob had this organized was just fantastic. Why I come back, I love and respect Bob and Perobi, and I have deep passion for children. Um, don't like to see children in pain or suffering, and that is the reason why I continue the journeys, the missions, and I hope it lasts forever. How's it going? I'm Tristan Fong. I'm 17 years old and this is my second year coming on this mission trip now. I originally came because my brother and my dad had come the previous year and told me that it was a great experience that they had. So I gave it a try and I completely agreed with them in that you leave with great memories and it's one of the best experiences you can have. I highly recommend to anyone thinking about going on this trip to do it and step out of their comfort zone because it's extremely rewarding and these kids need your help more than anything. Uh, initially the reason I came uh, was uh, I had really, I had always seen uh, or had friends who did missions with the church and things like that. I just had never been part of a, a church or any sort of community that I had the opportunity to go on a mission with. And when I was living in Japan, my friend, who was, a, who was a dentist, he was chatting to me about this mission he had gone to and how you know, he thought it was great. And I immediately said, I want to go. So I convinced him to change his plans and you know, make it out there. And he went with me, or he invited me, he and we went, and, and we had a great time. So really, I mean, the reason I went was because I, I had been wanting to do something like this for a long time. I just had never met a group that I really had found that I wanted to do it with. And by doing this, other people will go uh, out and eventually do this on their own. So I would like to continue being a philanthropist in this particular way by helping others, especially as a dentist because I think it's very important that humans do this. Because if we help one another, hopefully the world will be a better place for us.